Hey there! I am now going to show you guys how to use one of my favorite things. It's the Beauty Blender. And it is a special sponge that you can use for applying everything from your moisturizer to your primer to your foundation, your blush. You can pretty much use it to apply anything. Um, you know, maybe except eyeliner, obviously, and mascara and things like that. But um, anything that you want to get uh, really well blended into your skin and um, just get that kind of smooth, almost airbrushed finish uh, with a sponge. So this is the Beauty Blender after um, I washed it with the Blender Cleanser and then um, squeezed it out until it was just damp. Uh, you want to use it damp like this because this is how it originally comes. It grows to like twice the size when you get it wet and you want it to be wet because it'll um, reduce the amount of product that's absorbed into your um, blender and it will just help um, kind of help the product blend into your skin um, because the dampness will just um, thin it out a little bit and just make it go on smoother and make it look just like your skin. So. This is um, how it's supposed to look. You want to make it sure it's nice and big and it's damp. You don't want it to be like soaking wet. You want to squeeze it out completely um, and then you can either wrap it in like a paper towel or like a regular towel just to kind of get any of the excess water. Um, and right now I am going to use, I already have moisturizer on, um, which you can apply with this or with your hands, however you want. Um, so I'm going to show you how to use it with a liquid foundation at the moment. You can use it with cream as well. Um, you can use it with pretty much anything. Um, but right now I'm just going to go with liquid. So one that I'm going to use is Kevin O'Quan. And this is the liquid airbrush foundation. And right now I'm a little tanner than usual. You may not be able to tell, but <laughs> um, I got a spray tan by my favorite person ever, by the way, Fabiola at Sobe Tan in South Beach. She's the best. Um, so I'm going to be going a little bit darker than I usually would. This is LQ08, um, and usually I would be more around like a 3 or something along those lines. So anyways, so it has a little pump. Um, I can either pump it out onto a palette, or since I'm just doing it on myself, I'm just going to pump it onto my hand. Um, you don't need much. You do like one or uh, two or three pumps, and you're usually pretty good there. Um, so you can take your beauty blender and just dab it right in there, get it on, and then you just work it into your skin with stippling motion, and you just dab it all the way around your face, and you'll see how it just very naturally begins to cover and blends into the skin. And you stipple, and I also like to press and roll as well. That's another nice way to get it worked into the skin and blend it out. You just want to make sure that you're getting it all over. You're not missing any spots to make sure it's nice and even. So going around a little everywhere. And if you feel like you need a little bit more product, just pump a little bit more onto your hand. You could use a little more, not much. And dab, get the product everywhere. I like to put it on top of my eyelids as well to neutralize any pinks and purples from my tired eyes. And blending, blending, dab, dab, dab. And, you know, I always like to work it down chin, make sure there's no line of demarcation. And up into my temples and around my ears a little bit. And there you go. Really smooth, flawless application. Okay, so that's how to do a uh, foundation with it. Really easy. Um, I can also, there's plenty of other clean areas on this sponge still, so I can use it for more things in my application right now. 
when I'm finished with the overall application, I want to clean it out again with the blender cleanser to make sure that all of the uh, makeup is out of it so it doesn't get a chance to pick up any bacteria, anything like that. If you don't have a chance to clean it right away, it's okay. Just make sure you clean it before the next time that you use it. Um, so now I'm going to use it to put a little concealer on, which is a cream concealer by Bobbi Brown. Um, it's a corrector in a light peach. And I like using peaches or pink tones to do under my eyes because that helps cancel out the blue tones. Um, because when you look across the color wheel, most of the time anything that's across the color wheel is going to help um, cancel each other out. So like when you have red it's in your skin, things that are more like greens and yellow, um, greens and yellows will help cancel that out. And when you have blue tones, pinks and peaches cancel it out. So you can see right here, it already like totally eliminated my bags, unlike on this side. So I just dabbed it in here, just with the tip, because that's going to be the smallest area which will help me get up in my eye. And I'm just stippling, dabbing. Brightening that right up, pretty amazing. And dab a little bit again on the top lid since I do have some blueness up there as well. And using the Beauty Blender really helps eliminate um, how like your concealer sometimes gathers in the creases of your under eye, because this really works the product into the skin and eliminates it from sitting on top and gathering in creases. So it's really a wonderful thing to use for, for under the eye. And with anybody that has wrinkles and things like that, it's really, really helpful. Okay, so there we go. No more under eye circles. Pretty magical. <laughs> Next thing I'm going to show you how to use it with is a blush. Um, cream blush is probably the best thing that I would say to use with it because um, it really helps make it go on nice and um, natural and soft. Because with the damp sponge, um, it just sort of thins it out and makes it look like a natural flush. I like to use the bigger part of the sponge for that because it kind of really makes the exact um, apple of the cheek almost. So just like dab it. This is a little steel cream blush. Dab it in and then dab it on. You can kind of make like two little circles at first and then and kind of get off any excess if you don't want that much more and then I use the side which has no product on it to just blend it out and I'm just rolling rolling it out to blend. if you want more product just I like to use it mostly on the apples when I'm doing cream blush to make it look rosy and youthful do that and then roll it out I always like to use a little blush in the uh, crease right on the bone here because it just kind of gives a little definition to the crease and balances the color around my face. You do a little tiny bit in the middle of your nose as well. And you can use a little maybe on the top of your forehead, a little on the chin, just areas where the sun would hit and that makes it look really natural. Okay, very dewy, natural, blended beautifully. And um, you can also use it for powder as well, which um, might seem strange, but it actually just makes it really set into the skin again, not sitting on top of the skin, so you don't get that makeup look, you get that natural, beautiful skin look. Um, so I'm going to use another clean side of the sponge. This is just a mineral powder by um, Jane Iredale in Warm Sienna. And I'm just going to roll the sponge into that product until I get a good amount on there where I can see it. And then I'm just going to roll it in the areas and dab where I would need powder, which would be my forehead, maybe a little bit down my nose, on the sides of my nose, and on my chin, pretty much the T-zone. Sometimes like a little bit on the side there. So I'm just forming the T. And you can see it's also very natural. It just sort of toned down the shine a little bit, but set the makeup a little bit better. You can use a translucent powder, um, 
You can use like just a blotting powder or anything that you like. But I'm just using this one because I do happen to like the powders from Jane Iredale, the pressed ones. Okay, so there you go. That's your beauty blender. It's a really wonderful tool. Definitely recommend it. Um, you can find it anywhere online, really. Um, you can go just Google Beauty Blender, and you'll um, be able to find a retailer. You can go to beautyblender.com. Um, and, yeah, I just think it's really worthwhile, and you'll get to reuse it uh, many times. Eventually, uh, it does start to wear out, but um, not for a while. So as long as you keep it nice and clean and let it air dry um, so it retains its shape, uh, you should be fine and you'll get good use out of it. So I hope you try it out and enjoy it as much as I do. Thanks.